एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज़ वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशनल अलजेब्रा ऑपरेशन विद एग्जाम्पल्स यूजिंग मैप प्रोड्यूस अलगोरिदम आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ऑल ऑफ दैम नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल वी लुकिंग इन टू वन ऑफ द मेजर टॉपिक विच इज बिग डेटा स्ट्रीम्स दिस वीडियो विल बी एन इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक at the overview of streaming data so streaming data is that data which is generated continuously up till now in the previous videos whatever we have seen the different processing techniques the different storage techniques was for a static data no doubt it was a big data but it was not generated continuously but now this time we are going to see the big data streams so in this the data is received continuously from different sources now obviously if the data is from different sources the format in which the data is received will be different also note that the data that is continuously generating and collected is of small size usually in kilobytes now it doesn't means that it always has to be in kilobytes it can be in gigabytes also basically it depends on the topic or the domain or it can also be dependent on the source from which we are collecting the data now you can just imagine this massive data is collected every single second and it has to be stored and processed continuously so just think how complex it would be some of the examples of big data streams are log files that is the continuous generation of time stamps of the data collected or the metadata it can also be from social networking websites or you can also see the big data streams in financial tradings that is the continuous market activity so now i hope that you might have got an overview of the streaming data now we'll look into the very important topic which is the characteristics of data streams as you are aware we are talking about big data so the size has to be huge and with this huge volume the data is continuous that means the rate of generation of this particular data is more or less infinite so this is one of the characteristic of data streams that it is always in huge volume as well as it is continuous which is that it is generated at an infinite rate now as it is a streaming data it is fast changing that means here we cannot predict what type or in what format the next data will come so hence it is fast changing as well as it requires real time and fast response whenever the data is received at the same time some response should be generated or some outcome must be presented therefore the processing as well as the knowledge extraction from the streaming data has to be real time now just imagine if the outcome generation has to be such real time and fast then obviously robust and expensive resources will be required for doing this so this is one of the characteristics of big data streams now let's have a look at the next characteristic and it says that the system stores only the sum which means the knowledge from the entire streaming data that is received so far now just imagine this streaming data is going to be very continuous as well as very huge in volume so to store this particular data will require very expensive tools as well as to perform different aggregate operations on this huge amount of data will be very much difficult so to overcome this particular drawback the entire stream data will be converted into a knowledge or summary and that summary will be stored so that future queries can be answered so i would say that this is the highlighted characteristic of big data streams now the next characteristic says that it takes a single scan now this means that whenever you are going to traverse through the entire streaming data it should be sequential and it should be in a single scan because the data is continuous and huge in volume random accessing will be costly that means if you want to access the data in random fashion then it's not obviously impossible but it will be very much costlier hence generally it supports a single scan so these were the most important characteristics of big data streams i hope you have understood it if you get any doubt you can post it in the comment section now let's move on to the next topic which is the examples of stream sources 
So these are some of the sources from where you can collect streaming data. Now first, which is very much popular, is IoT sensors. Let's say if you want to monitor real-time air quality from the environment. So for that, we can install sensors for it. For example, we can install MQ2 sensor for collecting different gases, for example, hydrogen, smoke, carbon monoxide, etc. Now this single sensor wouldn't be enough. We will be requiring thousands of sensors for accurately monitoring the air quality. And through these sensors, we can collect big data, which will be in huge volume as well as it will be real time and continuous. So IoT sensors plays an important role as a source of generating this huge streaming data. I hope you have understood this. Now the next example of stream source is security monitoring. Now for monitoring this security, we'll be requiring real time data. We can fetch this particular data from different automated applications by using the deep learning algorithm. Through this, we can detect the motion of objects at a particular area. And through that, we can collect the real time data, which will be used to monitor the security. So obviously this will be one of the stream source. Next stream source is click stream analysis, which is basically done in some apps as well as websites. For example, Amazon website will monitor the activity of each user. For example, how much time the user is at a particular page, how many users are actually leaving a particular page after viewing it, or how many users are actually switching to some other pages after viewing the home page. So this clickstream behavior of the user will obviously be a big source of gen and further this data can be used for analysis and recommending a particular product to the user. I hope you have understood this particular source. Now let's move on to another source. Now let's have a look at the another source, which is financial market. So this is again one of the biggest source of stream data where a lot of trading operational activities occur throughout the entire world and different companies as well as different organizations plays role in it. Through this huge amount of stream data is generated and this is real time and continuous and this data can be used for analysis as well as prediction for the future finance. Now the next source of big data stream is the network monitoring as well as traffic engineering. So if you might be aware about the different IP packets that are transferred from source to destination continuously. These IP packets as well as the server request can be counted as a source of streaming data because this data can be analyzed for classifying suspicious activity over a particular network. It can also be used to classify an authenticated user or a node over that particular network. So the data about transferring of the data over the network also generates a streaming source. Hence, this is also one of the streaming source. These are few listed streaming sources. Apart from this, there are many other sources. If you get any other, post it in the comment section. I hope you like the video. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching.